how's the receiving group looking, and uh, how how good is it to have Ryan working with all these, uh, you know, to help get some continuity and chemistry built there? Well, I mean, that's critical when you have some moving pieces, and you know, he's he's worked with these guys, and uh, you know, Cody was with us in camp, so you know, Nick Westbrook's done a lot for us, Chet's done a lot for us, Des, you know, is starting to get a, a larger role, so you know, he's um, he's worked with him, and. Uh, you know, the group of tight ends, and, you know, that's, that's kind of where you're at in this part of the season. Coach Downing has said he didn't want to jerk the wheel on the offense, but, you know, as a coach where you want to work to your personnel, so to speak, not having some of the guys that you have, you know, how do you balance, like, not reinventing the wheel, but also still, you know, adding some, some different things to help you? Know, you I mean, it all comes down to what they know. You know, we can sit there and, and draw up a million plays. we got all the time in the world. It's what they understand. It's what they can go out there and, and do uh, under the pressure of, of a football game. And I think that's the thing. Sometimes people just think, well, we just put this play in, and then, you know, there's a million looks, especially this week. You know, like, there's a bunch of safeties in the game where the coverage changes. And, you know, so you got to be careful with the stuff that you change or what you want to just start adding to make sure that the players can, can run it, um, you know, in a manner that's going to be successful. A guy like Tate, is it a little easier if he's up on Sunday to maybe for him to get on the same page with Brian just because he's been around for a long time and kind of knows the ins and outs of the league? Mm, you know, I mean, I think his experience helps. I don't know if it makes it easier. You know, I mean, just there's a lot of terminology and a lot of things that he, you know, would have to process through. Um, but the, the experience is, is critical. You know, I think having been out there and and, and caught passes in this league for a long time. Like how you've handled the work week with the, an adjusted schedule going into going into Sunday. I mean, I think it's still, you know, obviously the preparation still has to continue. Um, you know, hopefully we can you know get as healthy as we possibly can. Um, meet tomorrow, come back tomorrow. We still got a lot to clean up. So, I mean, I think it's been good. I mean, not, we weren't going to be able to do a whole lot anyways with the amount of people that we have. For their defense, Barmore's not somebody who started a ton of games in college, but looks like he's gotten a lot better throughout the course of his first season. What kind of stands out about his game? Well, very disruptive. You know, very good pass rusher. You know, he's always moving forward. He's always working edges to edges. Never really gets stopped. You know, I've seen him uh, when he doesn't get there. You know, be able to get his hand up or get into get a hand into the throwing lane. You know, which is something that you know maybe for a young player. You know, maybe something that he you know, either did or would have to learn. Um, but, I mean, he's explosive and, you know, he's a good player and, you know, he'll be, you know, a handful. Johnny's slacking off. Can I ask if AJ's out? I'll give those at the end. It seemed like you touched on, you know, kind of not being able to do as much because of numbers. Is this as big a challenge you face this week in dealing with that? And how do you manage a practice week when you don't? Well, I think the, I think they have responded to the walkthroughs, Jim. I think that they, uh, the coaches like them, the players like them, and, and the guys that are helping us out on the show teams, you know, allow us to, to get a lot of plays run. And, um, you know, just without going with the speed. And so I think that that's helped us and, and has, um, been something that we've been able to do, especially this part in the season. Um, you know, when you get down there and you know on the end of the week, you got to have some red zone and some speed because everything, you know, is predicated on timing. You know, so that you have to have a, a little bit of speed, and we were able to do that. Nice have a guy like Buster Screen that can kind of pop in here as a veteran. He seems pretty confident in just picking up things quickly. Yeah, you know, he's done a nice job. He'll have to, you know, go out and play and, and perform. You know, if he's active on Sunday and. But, you know, another guy that has had experience and that has played, and, um, you know, we'll kind of see where he's at and in, in the role that he'll have. Feel like Hogan's in a good place? If yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? Mentally, and, you know, we really put a lot of work in, and um, you know, so have called upon. You know, I, I'm confident that he'll, you know, he'll be able to handle, you know, the game plan. Mike, with all the injuries this year, you guys have overcome them week after week, it seems like. What has allowed this team to do that? And is there any specific message you give them this week? I mean, I think guys realize that you know, they take advantage of their opportunities. They earn more opportunities. So I think that keeps guys engaged. Um, 
you know, there's a clear standard that we have when, when guys play for us, that they're here, that they play with effort and finish. You know, they, they do their job to take care of the football on, on offense and on special teams. Defensively, trying to turn the football over and use those techniques that we teach. Know the details and the concepts and the fundamentals that go along with each play and what they're you know, being asked to do. You know, and then not doing dumb stuff to hurt the team. So that's remained consistent. Um, albeit with with the amount of guys that we've had, Mike, with three guys going on the COVID list this week, has there sort of been like a re-emphasis of of the protocol? Saw guys going in with with mask and whatnot. Is that kind of no? The league's asked that everybody in the NFL wear a mask from Thanksgiving till next week. That's good. So who are out? AJ, Nate Davis, Rashawn Evans, David Long, McNichols, Tier Tart. 